and welcome back to the episode of Last Day on Survival Today we return to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing variety that only gets more fan freaking fantastic from me on out. Today we are going to be showcasing how to trade in Last Day on Earth within the new Sector 7 multiplayer section. We also have a pretty nice revenge raid lined up for a little bit later. I'm going to be paying a visit to the blind one, but that's besides the main thing. And also, let's not forget that we're announcing the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway as well. So if you guys have not already, you guys can go ahead and enter it onto the new one that is kicking off in today's video. All you gotta do is go ahead and leave a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure to go ahead and leave that like on the video as well. Now we'll enter you in on today's video. Y'all can enter it on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video and that will be, yeah, that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. And that's exactly what is going on today but check it check it we also got some quests that are gonna be knocking out obviously over here for the stranger trying to get our level six tasks like his name's literally just stranger like why 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 you know have name comrade he's just mysterious guy he gives us quests but we just gotta go and kill some ashy zombies and find some hazmat pants and jackets and while we are doing that i want to talk about how you can actually finesse a trade within this system because technically speaking there is no infrastructure within the game that allows for trade trading at least at this point in time but there is a little bit of a workaround so what you're going to want to do is bring whatever goods you want and make sure that you have them within your inventory and try to minimize the amount of other stuff that you have within your inventory as well because this little method that we're going to be talking about while we are also trying to go and collect some of these chests hopefully find some weapons we need to find dang this stuff over there has already been open but we just got to kill like some ashy zombies and also we got to try and find some of that hazmat stuff like i was talking about but since this zone already appears to be relatively loose Looted, which makes me big sad wow dude absolute savages already haven't looted up everything i could try and like punch up some ashy zombies definitely not ashy runners that's gonna be a big no-no for me but i could try and punch up some uh whatchamacall punch up some ashy zombies over here hello mr ashy zombie dang absolute savages already having opened up all these chests we're gonna need to give it another go but this is actually kind of the tactic that you guys would want to utilize in a situation like this so what you need to do is make sure that you and your friend are within the same multiplayer zone so just kind of like you try to enter one at the same time and then like type something in chat for example and if one person sees what the other person typed you guys are going to be within the same zone now that that zonitude has been established what you need to do is pretty much wait if you want to be safe safe for everyone to leave the map and really for nobody else to be left you also want to minimize the amount of other stuff you have besides what you do want to trade or potentially give to your friend and then you need to die at the hands of some kind of a zombie or potentially to radiation if you just strip naked because once you die as you guys know in the multiplayer sector 7 you will drop all of your loot now here's unfortunately where the limitations do kick in because you will drop all of your loot which is pretty much all of these slots plus whatever you had in these slots whatever armor that you had on your person as well and it's pretty hard to minimize the other stuff that you are bringing along since as you guys know at least at the time being we only have five slots of stuff that we could actually put away to safely be held within the camp of sector seven which is unfortunately where some issues might arise because if you have a lot of valuable things for example it's going to be a little bit harder to finesse this because as you guys can see there are five slots with which you can actually have uh, stuff put into there right but if you have more stuff so if you have stuff in here and that storage is filled unfortunately to trade you are going to need to also trade these items that you do contain over here now if your friend that you're trading with for example has a pretty empty inventory he'll be able to then when he gets whatever he wants he should be able to put it into the personal storage and you should kind of just be able to reverse the order to potentially get your stuff back so obviously it'll only it'll work most effectively if one of the people has a pretty empty inventory because then he could pick up all of the stuff that the one person drops when they die for example fill up on that type of jazz bring it back store whatever they wanted and then they would need to go back and die while the other person in the similar fashion like we just showed off where you would want to go into one of these zones you want to make sure that you are pretty much one of the only people left on the map and make sure that you die and that your friend can then go ahead and pick up your stuff that is currently the real only way of trading within last day on earth i really wish that there was a better system because you guys have no idea the amount of times let's get this ashy zombie over here i'm ready for a little bit of a tussle what up my guy uh you know you, like when we were trying to get ready to uh, fight the boss for example we have no idea like each of us all had like multiple sets of like scout armor or whatnot but we all had like so much stuff within our inventory it was a little bit hard to execute a proper trade 
unfortunately but uh that is why if one person has kind of like a bit of an empty inventory it is a little bit easier because then they could kind of like pick up everything and if they have a empty personal storage they should be able to put away whatever it is that you wanted to trade to them originally and then they should be able to go and in a similar fashion like i said trade quote unquote trade that stuff back to you so i just want to make sure that you guys are aware of that is it the prettiest thing in the world no it's pretty it's definitely a workaround but it is a method with which you can actually swap items with other people thanks to the fact that you are able to loot dead bodies within sector 7 and dude i'm not gonna lie finding this hazmat armor might end up being a tad bit annoying because it does not look like things are cooperating right now where is the hazmat about Lotus and boots and hopefully some kind of a gun too i'm not gonna lie i could go for that but i mean it looks like the zone's pretty empty so i mean that's the good news hey we got a spear over here so let's equip that so we actually have a weapon and we should be able to take down all these schmucks over here as well but ooh, allow me to assist you over there big boy oh i wanted to sneak one last attack in right there it looks like these guys have been going ham attacking their own things as well i'm just trying to get some of these ashy zombie kills please let me share let me share let's go i got a little bit of credit for that kill i will take it God dang it, I don't really care about killing the Ashy Runner, unfortunately. But I'll help anyways. I'm a nice fella. What could I say? Can we have... Can these guys drop, like, hazmat stuff? I think that's the important question that I'm looking for. Uh, this one has already... Nah, it's already been looted. The good news is, honestly, if we go and try to, like, loot up an... Ow! What was that going on? If we go and try to loot up higher level zones to complete this quest, there might be people, like, actually leaving behind hazmat pants and hazmat jackets because if they're in the level 3 zone, they're probably looking for the other type of stuff. They're most likely looking for, uh, whatchamacallit? I'm gonna skedaddle on out of here, not trying to deal with the Ashy Runner. But uh, they're most likely gonna be looking for, like, scout armor and stuff like that, so oftentimes they will actually leave behind some of the other armors, such as the hazmat armor that, in this scenario, we ourselves are looking for. But I'm gonna continue doing at least this level 1 zone a little bit because it's pretty easy to get ashy zombie kills here and then as we are getting that we can also check out the nearby chests and hopefully we get a stroke of luck and find the hazmat pants and the hazmat jacket within one of these things that's kind of ideal scenario here really hoping for it to come through i don't know how well it's going to come through though and i'm going to go ahead and oh can i not equip that okay i'm going to use that i'm going to pull that out there we go don't want any of these people stealing my stuff i want to make sure we have the best weapons and what not imaginable hey back it up big boy back it up i want whatever is in here please do not take my hazmat oh you can have the bandit bro that's all you i'm gonna be a cool dude but yeah let me know what you guys think regarding the trading system and kind of like the current workaround there is to kind of get it working and hello i will assist you in killing some ashy zombies big boys thank you for giving me a little bit of this credit i know i put in all of the heavy lifting to make this come to fruition oh baby that's a lot of chests over there well, hokey dokey. Can we maybe get to this one? It might be a little bit hard. Please don't take my hazmat. Okay, he's, he's going to try to finesse it. Okay, well, he's getting chased by his own zombie. He's got a fast boy coming after him. So I'm going to try and collect this. And hopefully we can go under the radar and whack. Not at all what we were looking for. Although I should probably still try to put some of that jazz away. There's still that one chest in the center. Let's just continue trying to chip away at some of the zombies on the outskirts. So we can get our ashy zombie level up over here. Hello, ashy zombies. We're about to get swarmed by these guys. Luckily, they are super slow. So it's not the scariest thing in the world. Hey, 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 hey. Don't, don't loot. Don't loot. Give me what is inside. Yeah. God dang it. No hazmat armor. So I'm actually not even that disappointed or anything. Let's get one more Ashy Zombie kill, and then we could probably just go to some level 3 zones and start trying to loot those up. I think that'll be the game plan, because like I'm saying, if people are looting in level 3 zones, they're probably leaving behind that hazmat armor. But let me know what you guys think regarding this trading, and if there are maybe any improvements you guys might think to this current kind of little workaround we have to implement in a sense trading and actually being able to swap items of your own with items of a friend of yours and like i'm saying it is going to be a lot easier to do if one of you guys is just not as far along progressed because i mean when you die like i'm saying you drop everything so whoever's picking it up needs to have the inventory room to do it and since you only have like those five storage slots uh, back at camp it might just be hard to properly execute that but you can still get that trade done, which is super dope. And if someone has that totally empty personal storage, right? And they collect all of your stuff, they could put away at most five things. And then they could die, give you your stuff back. And this trade has successfully been executed. Just remember that you want to be very careful. Make sure that everyone is gone if you want to play it safe. You don't want someone else coming along and taking stuff from one of your dead comrades, for example. Hey, there we go. We got some pantalones. Bless up. I just had to draw this guy away for a little bit. So, shouts out to him. Now that we have acquired those pants, we can just go ahead and toss them away. And we just got to find a jacket now. Oh, 
May the odds be in our favor, lads. It's a tad bit annoying finding very specific loot items. Definitely more annoying than killing certain zombies. Killing certain zombies 100% on the easier side. Woo! And after more zones that I cared a bit, we got our heads on the jacket and we are complete with today's Sector 7 shenanigans. Hopefully you guys did find that little like trading advice helpful. I know that unfortunately there are some limitations that come along with it, but let's go. We got some stuff, uh, but that is pretty much the best that we do have at the time being. And I definitely just thought that, you know, it'd be good to make you guys wear, especially if maybe like one of your buddies just got into Sector 7 and you've been kind of established. Nice, really easy way of getting him super established himself getting him a decent amount of stuff right off the bat and then he could just trade it back and he could like keep five things within his personal storage hopefully that's making sense kind of like the way that i'm explaining it i know that it's a little bit of a cluster truck trying to explain this one but uh hey i'm trying my best but let's make our way over to the bunker take out the blind one and then we have an angry minion to attack hopefully Gru doesn't come back with lots of angry minions to freaking take out their frustrations and anger on us but let me know about that in that comment section down below your guys's thoughts on the trading system if you have any ideas maybe on how we could potentially finesse the system a little bit better i'd absolutely love to hear that and i'm sure everybody would and we also got the bunker code for today six or four O one O is the code at the time of me put it in in if that's out of date by the time you're trying to use it make sure to check that comment section down below phone up today version brought to you by the fan freaking fantastic community here at the snipe gang and if you are not seeing it down below you could be the fan freaking fantastic ladder lassie to toss it down there for anyone who might be in need of that sequence of numbers and helping them spread some positivity and fan freaking fantasticness in their time that they require it but okie dokie we got a green ticket crate and a yellow ticket crate to rip on open as well so without further ado let's put some death into the fast biters put some tickets into the terminals and collect these things but with that uh whatchamacallit if you guys want to stay in the loop about that let's freaking go we got the uzi out of the green we got an engine part and we got some food for our Thomas, not to mention a couple of other decent things here and here we got nice a set of armor that we will be using instead of our SWAT armor because military armor is more than enough to tackle the blind one which is the main thing that we are trying to do down here collect a couple of other things got a chopper fork and a couple of other nice things here and there spread a little bit more death and down to floor three we shall go but if you guys want to stay in the loop with that giveaway as this next one continues going on as you guys want to enter in on every single last day on earth video to make sure that you guys are staying in the loop that's where that notification Bell is actually a great way of staying up to date with every single video y'all can turn on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well like that life after series that you guys really seem to be loving so far i'm definitely gonna be checking that out we should have another video actually going out tonight for those of y'all wondering about that that series has been a ton of fun things continue getting more interesting we started crafting up like better weapons and stuff and i think we're gonna start actually going out uh to new types of zones and stuff it's super interesting if you guys haven't already definitely check it out i don't want to spend too much time explaining it or anything but that seven days to die we had, oh my god we had the craziest seven days to die episode just like the, the last seven days to die video is insane if you guys have never watched seven days to die this is this might be a good video to get you hooked because pretty much everything hit the fan in the most hilariously bad manner possible and it was hilarious but a little bit unfortunate for me and uh, that notification bell is also going to be a great way to stay up to date with every single new bit of info coming out about last day on earth that we are always making sure to spread absolutely asap and not just do we spread it we are always breaking it down making sure not just that you guys are aware of it but that you guys are also aware of what it may mean we connect it with information released in the past and overall just do everything possible to give us the clearest look at the future of last day on earth and what to expect from that info not to mention that as soon as anything new comes out in the form of an update we're always diving into that absolutely head first and checking out everything that has to offer new locations new bosses new anything doesn't matter how expensive it is how hard it is it's being checked out and we're gonna have a fan freaking fantastic time all throughout so make sure that that notification bell is hit my most beautiful of lads and lasses now if you'll excuse me we got that little bit of shotgun rain to you to go ahead and spread we actually have a little bit of a different shotgun rain setup today this is actually ooh, piece of candy i like what i'm seeing there ow i'm okay i don't like what's hitting me in the nose but i like what i'm seeing Things are coming up pretty millhouse, but yeah, we got this uh, shotgun rain over here to help us out with today's shenanigans. This is actually shotgun rain that I don't want to spoil, but I'm about to spoil. Spoiler alert, we got from just our last raid. 
Yeah, that last raid ended up being a doozy, but we got this fully modded shotgun out of that, which ended up uh, making me a little bit of a happy camper, and it should be a pretty well-equipped shotgun to bring death onto destruction to the blind one, because this shotgun configuration, I believe, does maximize our opportunity at a critical chance, which is kind of the big thing that we are trying to do, so go run into that wall, and hello to you. Let's get some shotgun rain all up in that brain. Can I squeeze in one more shotgun blast? Beautiful. Managed to get that one and we are not getting any critical hits at the time being though which is a little bit poopy can i please get some criticals up in here game because hopefully this time around we're a little bit luckier uh no critical damage yet this thing is literally not had a single there we go we got one amongst all of those a one single critical hit helping us out thank you so much game i appreciate that more than you would ever know I'll just have the blind one over here hitting us up a little bit come on baby i just want to get these last couple of shock and rain pellets up inside you so then we could go and uh, go on with our merry lives because I have a merry little raid that we need to commence on in today. So yeah, if you could just die a little bit faster, blind one, I'd appreciate that. I'm here. I'm going to be honest. I, I just want your tickets. And, okay, maybe your hard mode items too. Those are nice too, but I, I want them tickets, baby. So please uh, give them to me. Maybe some big bones too. Huh? I could never turn down any big bones from you or from any other of the giant undead bosses. I'm always more than happy to collect some of those. Or maybe the chopper pattern, although, eh, I already have a billion of his chopper pattern, so never mind. Maybe not a billion, but, I mean, I don't know. The way that the chopper pattern works now, once you use it one time, you're pretty much set to go because you just learn the recipe and you can change it in the garage. And okie dokie, we got one more round of his hits to withstand, and then it is going to be time to say goodbye to the blind one at the hands of Shotgun Rain. Look at that. We even managed to get him stuck inside of the wall. That's the power of Shotgun Raid, baby. He gave me all that stuff while he's having his own personal private dance party over there. And we got to make our way back topside to the lobby, lobby, lobby. And from the lobby... I'm sorry, I just had to have the echo in there for dramatic effect. But from the lobby, we will then turn these things in and skedaddle our way back home. Prepare for this raid and commence in some daily raiding dope shenanigans. And also, let's get some food up in our belly. We're starting to feel a little bit hungry. We're starting to feel the effects of the hunger. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit hungry. IRL too. Gotta go and uh, get myself a little bit of the munch munch after this. Your boy's tummy is grumbling. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna eat today. That's a good question. I do have a pizza in the freezer. And nothing like freezer pizza to nourish a lad like me. <laughs> Alright though, enough of them shenanigans. Let's toss that stuff into there. We're super close to the floppy disk, but... Unfortunately, not quite yet, comrades. So, with that, we will instead turn our eyes towards another dope way of getting loot. Not from the coordinates that a 500-year-old piece of technology known as a floppy disk may have. It's not actually that old, but in like, I don't know, in terms of internet terms, that thing's pretty much like 500 years old, you know? <laughs> floppy disk, man, those things are ancient, dear mama, but... Uh, yeah, besides that ancient technology leading us towards a super dope airdrop, there's always uh, the help of a base that uh, wants to give us loot. So, Angry Minion, it is your time, my friend. I'm going home, I am preparing myself for a raid, and you should prepare yourself to be raided. So, I will talk to y'all in one second. All right, guys, no worries. I probably uh, pranked you there. I probably already got a couple of comments saying, Star, you left behind the SWAT armor. Psych. Just the prank, bro. We back, we got it, and you know what else we got? We got all of these marvelous materials here that are going to help us with our end objective of raid. So let's go and prepare these things right here and right now as we speak since we do not need to be at home to craft them up and we had all the materials necessary within the back of our chopper. We have enough wood to chop down a forest at this rate. Actually, by last day on Earth standards, dude, this amount of hatchets is probably enough to chop down, like, multiple forests. Just putting that out there, but... All right, Mr. Angry Minion, your time has come. Gru, at least to my knowledge, is not here to protect you. So, Mr. Minion, who happens to be angry... Hello. That is all I have to say. We're about to have a fun little raid as we always do. And as we go ahead and commence into that, what better time than now to announce the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Huge congrats to the randomly chosen video where we actually found out that the tactical backpack can be gotten without titanium within Sector 7 and went on a ridiculously amazing raid. And huge congrats to the randomly chosen comment from that randomly chosen video. D Future Pro A saying, you're a real help. Snipe, keep making good videos, my man. Thank you so much. I'm incredibly happy to hear that I can be of help to you and to anyone else out there. 
within the community. And yo, my man, congrats to you on being that randomly chosen. A comment from that randomly chosen video and being the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes Play Store gift card giveaway. Reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below, letting me know the best way to go ahead and privately get in touch with you, whether that be by email or like some, yeah, like something like email. Just I need to be able to privately get in touch with you. I can't just reply to your comment with the code because anyone could see that code. That code needs to be private. So just letting you know about that type of jazz. And to everyone else, I want to say nothing but the best of luck to you guys and gals with the brand new $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Kicking off this very day right here and right now. Get the entries in and we will be announcing the next winner. Well, as y'all know, one week from now in Saturday's last day on Earth video. And check it, check it. We finesse the system because if you break into this chest room properly, you do not need to worry about any zombies attacking you because of that and handy dandy little chest glitch. So what we're going to be able to do is literally break every single one of these chests right fill up our inventory as much as we can i know that our chopper is going to be a little bit empty but i think we should be able to grab most of the stuff here and we should literally be able to run out of here without firing a single bullet which is definitely a w in my book if you ask me or what we could try and do is we do have the shotgun over here with the shotgun spread ability if we get all the zombies towards like one window i'm just saying we could get a lot of exp here boys and girls just just want just want to put that out there really quickly there's a lot of EXP potentially awaiting, but ooh, piece of candy. We got some decent stuff over there. But yeah, best of luck to you guys in that brand new $25 iTunes Touch Play Store gift card giveaway uh, kicking off uh, today. And can't wait to hear what y'all got to say in that comment section uh, down below as well. Let's just go ahead. I want to gather the troops over here just so that they can't hit me, but I do want them as close as possible because what we need to do is like we're going to need to like, I don't even know how to do this, but we got to get them like into the sight of a window so we can hit them with this blast, you know? Oh my God, so many enemies. Well, this is going to be incredibly efficient, and I like efficiency, so I think that's all the zombies right there, yeah? Yeah, okay, so what we want to do now is just get a little bit of separation, and let's try to, like, run them over here. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, and to that, I say, shotgun rain! We just blew up at least, like, five of those dudes. We got a little bit of noise to mess with, so while those guys are chilling over there, we're just going to go ahead and continue looting up a couple of these chests over here. Nothing. I don't want them to move or anything. I want them to stay exactly where they all are so we could loot while our shotgun regenerates. We'll go back. Let's freaking go. We got some aluminum and some kind of decent stuff from this raid. And that's the thing, too. This raid is meh. Like, it could definitely be... Ooh, piece of candy. I think that's our own M16 we're getting back. I could be wrong, but I think so. Uh, but... It's just really good because what you call it's a revenge raid. You know, this isn't a raid that we had to use C4 on either, so it was very cheap. Let's get a little bit of shotgun raid into there as well. I know that we just managed to get a kill or so. Just make sure that they, that, uh, that they don't start running towards us or anything like that. There might be a couple of those fast dudes that end up surviving that smorgasbord of kills, but let's go and get this since we do acquire EXP for killing all these dudes, and I'm I'm game for some EXP. Always hard to complain. Hey, a couple of the fast biters actually ended up surviving, so my bad on that. I didn't give him an opportunity to, like, run into the opening, but pff, look at this just smorgasbord of dead bodies, dude. That is absolutely nutty. <laughs> Freaking goofy. But now that we've killed everything here that we need to worry about, we can actually go ahead and put some things... Oh, never mind. We got a straggler. All right, you freaking slowpoke. I'll take you out 1v1 of me, bro. Spoiler alert. He lost the 1v1. And back into here we go. We could put away the more valuable things that we have. Uh, quote, unquote, valuable. I don't really know how valuable they are. But, like, I mean, th okay, these things have some value. But you know what I mean. No big picture items. No super dope guns that we found besides our own. Nothing like that. Uh, despite how much I would have loved to see that. Or, like, giant red ticket stockpiles. Just small red ticket stockpile feels bad man but we'll put that stuff away free up a little bit of an inventory room and continue looting up that little area that we have managed to break into until the big one himself decides to appear now to my knowledge that is the room where all the best stuff is going to be so definitely the one that you kind of want to interest yourself in and nothing within the woodworking benches but we should be able to break this last chest over there as well but that will summon the big one so we got to get ready to uh dipsky doodle because he's gonna be coming and he is not gonna be happy with me and the shenanigans that i am doing because i'm raiding a base and the big one is apparently the base protector when it comes to people's bases <laughs> freaking no one's allowed to raid under his watchful eye um five green tickets are pretty low actually 10 yellows that's kind of okay but five greens meh i'm leaving that behind i think and i will pick up 
I'll leave behind some wood too. We have like a decent amount of wood up in here. Pick up that tape so we could craft up some iron hatchets and other useful things. Nothing super crazy I'm seeing other than that though. Uh, this hammer could be decent to grab. I do know that. So honestly, I'll say goodbye to the hatchet. Hello to the hammer time. And I suppose I could eat some of your food. Thank you for offering. I'll drink some of your drank as well. There we go. That should leave us nice and full on all fronts. And let's break into this last chest and get ready to freaking run, my dudes. Because things are about to get fuggly. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I'm going to say goodbye to you. Uh, I cannot stack this. I'm going to say goodbye to the axe. I know that the big one's coming. Hello, big one. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't get, like, jammed in here. Because that's always an issue. Let's get to sprinting. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Oh, move out the way, abomination. Because that is a wrap to this raid. And that is going to be a wrap to this episode of last day on earth survival best of luck to you guys and gals getting the chopper guest tank and joining the chopper squadron best of luck bringing your pup again the true friend perk level up your own perks and skills not to mention find the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got best of luck building up your base going out on the dopest of raids defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you and getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time all throughout not to mention best of luck in that brand new 25 dollar i do such place store gift card giveaway that is kicking off this very day huge congrats to the winner of this past week's giveaway and can't wait to hear what you guys got to say in that comment section down below regarding the trading system that we kind of went over maybe how your weekend's going hopefully it's absolutely dope and nothing but amazingly fan freaking fantastic and ooh, piece of candy the color me intrigued i will collect that but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching huh this was an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya